In this video, I will show you how to use the settings files that can be created with the uh, protocol toolbox function in QEEG Pro. So here I have uh, the EEG results, the maps uh, of different clients, and we'll focus on this client 003 underscore DR. That's going to be the client for which I have requested a protocol recommendation. So let's quickly look at the results of this client. So from the maps, it is clear that this person has an access in delta and theta, predominantly an access in theta. So that will probably be the protocol recommendation as well. So let's go to the protocol toolbox. And here we have the protocol recommendation for client 003 underscore dr. So let's look at the results. And as you can see, not only are there PDF files here, but also an XML file and a .zip file. So I will get back to these later. Let's just first look at the uh, protocol recommendation in the report. Scroll down. Uh, there was a protocol, rec protocol recommendation requested for ADHD. And as you can see, uh, the recommended protocol is 4 to 6 hertz down and 15 to 20 hertz up on CZ. Um, then uh, there's a second protocol recommendation and a recommended protocol for 4-channel Z-score training and for S. Loretta Z-score training, uh, a number of Broadman areas that should be included in the uh, S. Loretta Z-score training. Um, this information is actually not enough to construct a protocol in the Brain Avatar software or any other software that supports S. Loretta training. Um, so in order to have the full information, you need to go to the QEG Pro Pro Rec S. Loretta Bands report. That will show you for each frequency band which Broadman areas to include. So this is a lot of work to do in the Brain Avatar software. And um, in order to make it more easy, it is now possible to request a settings file for the uh, 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 Brain Avatar software. Um, this is the settings file that can be used in the Brain Avatar software for uh, S. Loretta Z-score training. And the way you, you can request that is quite easy. So let me show you how to do that. So you go to QEG Pro, uh, Protocol Toolbox, I mean, uh, add a pro protocol recommendation, select your client, and then base your protocol recommendation either on the therapist rating or on the client questionnaire. So let's select therapist rating, then select the QEG. And then here you now have the option to generate settings file, both for the S. Loretta Broadman area ROI selections for the Brain Avatar software and for the BrainMaster 3.x neurofeedback software, the classic software for doing classic neurofeedback. So if you tick these boxes, you will get settings files. Let's get back to the results here. So the XML file is for the Brain Avatar software for, for doing uh, uh, as Loretta Live Z-score training, and the .zip file is for the classic neurofeedback software, uh, the 3.x software from BrainMaster. So let's download them both. There we go. The other one as well. Uh, let's go to the download folder. And here you can see the reports and the two files that I just downloaded, the settings files. So the XML file can be used from the Brain Avatar software. So let's just go to the Brain Avatar software. So if you have the latest version of Brain Avatar and you have your load screen, um, what you can do is click on View or Change Settings, then go to Read Write. Um, and then you should have this option available, Load Protocol and Settings. So if I click that button, button, 
I have the option to select an XML file. So this is the one we just downloaded. Let's open it up. It will give you an error file which can be ignored. And if I now go to the ROI, ROI select, region of interest select, you can see that Broadman areas ha have been selected based on the XML file and based on the protocol recommendation done by QEG Pro. So here you have all the different Broadman areas that are depicted in the report, this report. So let's focus on Theta, for example. You can see that uh, Broadman area 4, 6, 8, 24, and 33 um, uh, are recommended to include in the uh, uh, Brain Avatar live Z-score training. Uh, both on the left and the right side. So if you go to the Brain Avatar software, you can see that Broadman Area 3 uh, on the left for Theta is selected and on the right as well. And that's the case for all the Broadman areas that are selected here. It's an exact copy of what is presented here. So that makes it really easy to, uh, to make your protocol in Brain Avatar. For the uh, Classic neurofeedback settings, it's a little bit more complicated. Um, you get a .zip file and you need to extract that. So right mouse click, uh, extract that to a folder. You can use the same name. And then copy that folder to the BrainMaster softwares folder and then the studies. So let me copy that right here. Um, then in the BrainMaster software, let's go to that program. You can now you can now go to folder selections, and here it is the exact settings file that we've created with the protocol toolbox option in uh, QEasy Pro. So let's look at the at the settings. As you can see. The channel information is correct. So CZ was recommended to train with a go on beta and a stop on the user uh, frequency. And the user here is defined as 4 to 6 hertz. So 4 to 6 hertz is trained down while beta is trained up. You can also get protocol recommendations or settings file for the BrainMaster software with uh, two channels and as you can see, more than one frequency.